Hello dear friends. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you have experience driving in winter, or have any questions about dangerous road conditions, make sure to write them in the comments section so we can all learn together and stay safe. Alright, let's get started with today's video. Black ice is a very thin and transparent layer of ice that forms on the surface of the road. It usually appears when the temperature is close to freezing, especially after rain or moisture, when the air suddenly gets colder. But what makes it different from regular ice is that you can't see it. Because it's transparent, it doesn't hide the color of the road. The driver thinks the road is dry, while in reality, they're driving on a surface as slippery as glass. Oh, Okay, we're ready. Holy mackerel! It's interesting to know that most dangerous winter accidents don't happen during heavy snow, but on clear and sunny days. That's because black ice still remains on the ground, and drivers are often deceived by how safe the road looks. Black ice usually forms in places where sunlight doesn't reach much, under bridges, beside mountains, inside tunnels, or even on curved sections of the road. In these spots, the air stays colder, and the ice lasts much longer. What actually happens from a physics point of view? When a car tire slides over black ice, the friction between the tire and the surface almost drops to zero. This means the tire has no grip at all and can't hold the vehicle steady. In this situation, even pressing the brakes won't help, in fact, it makes things worse, because the tires lock up, causing the car to skid uncontrollably or spin. According to statistics from the World Traffic Organization, more than 25% of winter accidents happen because of black ice.
how can you detect black ice? Recognizing black ice isn't easy, but there are a few warning signs to watch for. The road surface looks unusually shiny or glossy, especially under your car's headlights. The air temperature is close to freezing, between minus 2 degrees Celsius and plus 2 degrees Celsius. Your tires suddenly sound different or you feel a slight lightness or loss of traction. Areas where snow has melted and refrozen are particularly dangerous. It's always safest to assume that if the road is cold and damp, black ice might be present, even if you can't see it. In winter, the golden rule of driving is, go slower, arrive safer. Even if you're in a hurry, a few extra minutes of travel are never worth the risk. On dry roads, a three-second gap from the car ahead is usually enough. But on icy roads, this distance should be six to eight seconds to give yourself enough time to react. Sudden braking or abrupt lane changes can easily cause a skid. Smooth and steady movements are the key to staying safe in winter. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe, and let us know in the comments about your own winter driving experiences. Have you ever skidded on black ice? Or what steps do you take to stay safe on icy roads? I'm excited to read all of your experiences.